Okay, guys, I just unboxed. Uh, I just got the what do you call it? Razor Death Hour Essential. It's a very cheap. Uh, it's a very very cheap gaming mouse. It's wired. Um, got my knife here. Got my keyboard. I set up everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna open this. We're gonna do some tests, and after that, we're gonna do a battles match. Okay, so this mouse here was my old one. It is like. It's very cheap on like 20 bucks on like Amazon or eBay. I'd say it's pretty good. But if you're going for like, if you're trying to really sweat at games, at CPS games like me, <laughs> obviously you gotta get that like, that razy gear or whatever. So, I'm gonna unbox this right here. Uh, let me just find how you actually do this. Okay, so guys, uh, it just slides out like this. It slides out from the box like that, and I have got this. And with this, I just let me take it out. Okay, here's the mouse. Wow. All right. Comes in like this epic packaging, or this in like this little bag thing. Here's the mouse. Oh my god. This thing's epic. So, my hand is like. This is me compared to the hand. Uh, hang on. I just. Is this good? <laughs> my hand. So, this ma. Oh my. Okay. Straight up. This mouse is pretty big. I'm. Like, my hands. They're like. It's compared to my keyboard. Let's just see. This keyboard is an average keyboard. Uh. My hand on the keyboard down the end. It cover. I can palm the number pad, uh, which is like that. Hang on, that's the number pad. <laughs> Very bad view. I'm sorry, but my hands are, I don't know, a little bit bigger than average for my age. Now this mouse is pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. Now one thing I would say, this mouse is very large, but doesn't really matter around the buttons i just think it matters around the edge because if you see down the end it kind of has like kind of clouds around kind of has a bit of oval shape it's like mm, it's, it's like it's it's harder to palm because that part but i'm gonna say this mouse does click very well like really well all right guys so now we're gonna do some testing we're gonna play a bedwars match and yeah it's gonna be pretty good We'll get to the sensor. I do have a razor mouse pad right here. It is a razor mouse pad. It glides pretty well. I wouldn't say, I think you can also use this for shooter games and quick switches. Um, but I don't think that's a big problem for Bedwars. You can customize things on the razor software. As soon as you plug this into your computer, uh, what happens is razor software automatically opens and you can customize your mouse buttons. So like, Unfortunately, there's no debounce at time, but you can customize this button to be like the side buttons to be like F. Right now, I've got this button for a click. No idea why. I think that's for like clutch bridging, just in case, you know. But yeah, this mouse is pretty good for budget. Now, if you do want a wireless gaming mouse, uh, for budget, a good one would be the Logitech G305. Now, this does cost about seventy dollars, but that's the cheapest wireless gaming mouse. That's actually good. Now, my old mouse was a wireless one, which was about $20. Let me get it out quickly. Alright. This mouse here is $20 wireless. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, so if you don't like heavy, it's alright. This is $20. But the switches aren't the best for PvP. I mean, they're good switches, but if you want something very light that bounces really well, uh, Razor Death Rider Essential's got a a lot of space between the switches and the click which i very like because it's easy to push easy to click but yeah and like i said the razor viper mini is a little bit better than the death adder i haven't tried it i can't really say anything but if you do want a small mouse definitely go for the razor viper mini uh the v2 the razor death adder v2 i would say you could just get a death adder same thing really i mean switches aren't improved Nothing's really better, you know? 
so, yep. Just running. For, I'm just chasing this kid right now. No idea where he's going. He's got a bow. Okay, uh, whoa, bro. Anyways, yeah, this mouse is pretty good for PvP. I gotta say. It's a good PvP mouse. And obviously, if you don't care about your budget, uh, I'd say Glorious Model O. You can choose between the Model O or Model O Wireless. The Model D is also very good, though I'm not sure if you can customize the B debounce timer. Because if you like jig clicking or just normal clicking like me, you can customize this debounce time to make it double click or even triple click. And you can start jitter clicking really high CPS. Anyways, so uh, yeah. Drag clicking? Uh, is it death battery essential? I cannot do it. I don't know if I'm just trash at drag clicking or something. But yeah, that's just me. Alright, this man literally has diamond armor rushing me. Got caught away with the, uh, um, what do you call it? Talking to you guys. Come on, man. Okay. Oh my god. He's doing such a big combos to me. Alright, obviously I'm gonna lose that fight because he's got better stuff than me. He got diamond armor. I got none. And he's just blending away, bro. Okay, at this point I'm running away. So I'm just heading off. I don't think he's popping me anytime soon. All he's gonna do is hit me, which gives me a little boost. Kinda like it. God, I gotta run. I gotta run for my life. Alright, I just lost that game. Well, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. Rizzo Death Already Central, I say, is the best. Rizzo Viper Mini as well. But, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped out.